Secret. Oh wow. Yeah, I think so. Then the tapa bring back. Tapa. Left. Then we take go run and take from kitchen. Welcome to another episode of Dynasty Travel TV. My name is Eileen from Dynasty Travel and today we are at Mirai Kanai, a restaurant featuring Okinawan cuisine. Today we have with us... Konnichiwa, I'm Wayne from Japan National Tourism Organization, JNPO. And... Hi, sorry, this is Uyo Chugarapida. I'm Taka Hiraga from Okinawa Protective Government, Singapore Peace. Yay! So, let's go for some food! Welcome to Okinawan Diner Nirai Kanai. Located at Great World City, Nirai Kanai offers a variety of delectable Okinawan cuisines that tantalizes your taste buds. Did you know that Okinawan cuisines are beneficial for one's health and beauty? Let's join our host in finding out what are some Okinawan cuisines that we must try when visiting Okinawan Diner Nirai Kanai. Yay! Yeah. Eating time! Eating time! Yes! So, before we start eating, right? I just want to share my experience when we, I was last in Okinawa. I remember that it was a sunny island, beautiful, and then with very friendly people, rich in history and culture, and of course, amazing food. What about you, Wing? Yes, Okinawa has always been a paradise to me. I mean, there's very nice beaches, very nice natural sceneries. Mm. Even if my friends rented a car, it was really great fun. Wow! Okay, so Hiraga san, yes. I understand that you grew up in Okinawa. Yes. Uh, so what is the like the thing that you miss about home the most? Yes, I was going to introduce our Okinawan dishes to you guys. Yay. But now I suddenly uh, <laughs> get missing Okinawa. Uh, especially I miss uh, Okinawan cuisine as well. Uh -huh. But the most mm. I miss is the beach party. Wow. Uh, Okinawan people love Beach party. Right. We drink a beer uh, near the beach, mm -hmm. and so many people come and drink all night. Ah, oh. from noon. From noon, of course. Of course. <laughs> Yay! From noon to until midnight. Before. Is there anything that we should do before we start eating? Yeah, uh, we Japanese do mm. kampai, uh -huh. but today, yes, we we gonna start with Okinawa style. Okay. So. I say kari uh -huh. sabira and okay. then you say kari and okay. uh, toast. Right? Okay. Okay. <laughs> si. okay, so I'm gonna start. Mm -hmm. Usu yo kari sabira. Kari! Before we start eating, I think today when we have paid close attention uh, of what we are saying and sharing during the video because five lucky winners will be walking away with a $100 food voucher from Nirai Kanai and also goodie bags from both JNTO and the Okinawa Singapore office. Yes! Okay, yeah. so first things first, what is um, the main difference between Okinawan cuisine versus okay. the normal Japanese cuisine that we all know. Okay, so the most difference in uh, Japan and the Okinawa cuisine. Mm. So, do you know, uh, Okinawa used to be an independent country. Oh, really? Yeah, not part of Japan before. Uh -huh. Do you know? Mm, yeah, no. Like <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> and so, uh, the old name of Okinawa uh -huh. is Ryukyu, called Ryukyu. Ah. In Chinese, it's Ryukyu, Ryukyu. 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 So, uh, so, uh, mm. how say? Ryukyu Kingdom mm. had developed by trading Asian countries and Japan. Oh. So, our culture is a mix of uh, Asian and Japan. Mm. But after World War II, mm. we had occupied by US Army. Right. Yeah, for 27 years until oh, wow. 1972. Mm. So uh, after that, we mix with US. So yeah. our culture is a uh, mix of Japan, mm. Asian country, and US. Yeah. So that's why uh, the, this is uh, Okinawan cuisine, but mm -hmm. different from Japan, right? Yes, mm -hmm. very yes. different. Yes. Very yes. Mix of Chinese mm. and yes. Japan. Right? It's very, very fusion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. Like first up, we have this dish called Goya Champuru. Yes. Yay. Yes, go. Mm. So, 
What does champuru means? Ah, uh, champuru means actually you uh, you use uh, nasi champuru and uh, in Malay, right? Nasi yes, yes. champuru. Nasi champu. Nasi champ. Champu. 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 The champu. Uh, Okinawan uh, goya champu champu is the same as Malay champu champu. Ah, yes. it's the same meaning. Yes. Ah, yes. so it means mixed. Yeah, the star fry mix. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. Mm. It's very different from the kind of bitter god that we have here. Mm. It's um not very bitter. Right, right. <laughs> I think a lot of people are very uh, yeah, afraid of eating bitter god because of the taste, but this is um very crisp and Refreshing. Correct, correct. It's fun for, for, for us Singaporeans now. We go as a kid, our mom is a kid, us with the girl. The question is like very cheap. Correct, this is good for you. But this one is really very nice. It's a very, mm. it's a very mm. table dish. It's a very savory. At the same time, it's not that bitter. It's not. Mm -hmm. It's not bitter at all. So next up, we have tofu champuru. Yes. Yay! Tofu, I understand in Japan, different prefectures, mm. they actually have their own version of tofu. Mm. Mm. So, uh, is there a big difference between the one in Okinawa mm. and the one from the other parts of Japan? Yes, uh, very different from uh, Okinawa tofu is a very different. Mm. Uh, we call th this tofu Shima tofu. Shima, Shima tofu. is an island, so Chonsen ah. house Tao. Tao. Yeah, Tao, mm. Tao, Tao. 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 Right? So, uh, Okinawa tofu is a uh, more uh, firmer. Than, right. Yeah. Firmer. The other part of Japan tofu mm -hmm. kind of reminds me of a local tau kwa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's still mm -hmm. a bit firm texture, but not that hard. It's mm -hmm. still very soft inside. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. So it's really very. It's done in a very Chinese cooking mm -hmm. style. Yeah. Oh so really? It's, yeah. So I, I guess it's very easy to relate to yes, Okinawa yes, yes. cuisine because um, yeah, uh, it's something that we are very familiar mm -hmm. with the cooking style. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. So next up, are we going to try this very delicious looking Yeah, la meat? Yeah, they la like from the start already. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow, sounds very Italian. Yeah. Italian? <laughs> the name. <laughs> mm. Oh, this one's a lot sweeter definitely. Mm. Mm. And it's very tender, so you can feel the hours of braising it. Mm. Mm. I think that was once I was in Okinawa. I actually bought uh, like a ready to eat pack for from today. Oh, mm -hmm. ready to bring it home. Mm -hmm. So actually, for those who want to try it, you can go to Okinawa when you're there. You pick it up, bring it home. Ah, uh, like friends. bakwa. Yeah, like bakwa. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. 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 So next up, we have. Shall we try the soba? Yes. It's calling out. Soba, soba. Okinawa soba. Yeah. The texture <laughs> is very QQ. Yeah, yeah. Chewy. Yes. Yeah, 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 mm. yes. So it's more substantial than the normal soba mm. that we have. Mm. Yes. That, that has a very yeah. good bite to it. But the soup, the soup is so yes. yeah. soup clean. Mm. Yes. Mm. <laughs> okay, I understand now like, yeah, yeah. why this is your comfort mm. food. Mm. The Japanese soba, uh, the soup of Japanese soba is uh, it uses uh, like a bonito and mm. soy, soy sauce and the meeting. Mm -hmm. oh. But in Okinawa, uh, Okinawa soba, they mm. use uh, pork and bonito. Oh. Yes. Right. Yeah, so. so that's why it's so flavorful. Yeah. So uh, Okinawa soba is like. Uh, hey, come, come another eight bowls. <laughs> <laughs> so this one, very interesting. Just now when it uh, appeared on the table. Mm -hmm. The taco rice. Yes. So it's very similar to like the Korean bibimbap style. Yeah, yeah. But when I start, it's like it's with uh, minced meat and cheese and yeah, it's really like taco but then on rice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is this Japanese. something that we that you eat often in taco rice? Yes. Yes. This is one of the soul food. Uh, after World War II, ah. the tacos uh, came from uh, US. Right. Okay, then, okay. Uh, so it has the Mexican yeah. influence. Yeah, yeah. Right. And one Okinawa restaurant shop, mm -hmm. they create the taco rice. Oh. Because uh, taco is very mm -hmm. short, portion, small portion, right? Ah, okay. So the taco cannot uh, satisfy uh, US Army stomach. Ah, so okay, okay. They arranged to 
easy to eat and feel, feeling. Yeah. Right. Oh, so clever. Yes, oh. Yeah. So I think when you think of taco, right? Taking the mouth like taco, yeah, you know, octopus ball. No, 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 it's not octopus. Taco is a. Is this a kind of like a seaweed? Yes, yeah, seaweed. Ah, okay. Yeah, mosquito is a seaweed. Uh, not only in Okinawa, but most of more than 99 percent, uh, it's in Okinawa. Comes from Okinawa. Wow. Yes. So it's used yes yeah, like a, a side dish to eat with the yeah, main yes. course. Not, not main. One. Uh -oh, yeah, okay. yeah. It's mm. like a how should I say side dish. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Because I read somewhere that um, longevity mm -hmm. is a thing in Okinawa. Yeah. Just, um, so a lot of uh, people in Okinawa live for a long time. Is it linked to what you eat mm -hmm. every day? Yes, uh, actually uh, Okinawa is famous for longevity. Right. But nowadays we mix the, how should I say, the culture. <laughs> right. So now uh, our longevity uh, how should I say? Right. Life expectancy yes. is getting down. Right. But our 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 elderly people mm. are still uh, live uh, live lively yes. and energetic. Yeah. Right. A very interesting one. Uh, I know it's sea grapes. Yeah. Um, and every time I go to Okinawa, I would buy this bag mm. because it's a very very interesting mm. um dish. Mm. <laughs> yes. Yes, this is also seaweed. This is also seaweed. Yes. I'm not sure, but uh, more. See? So cute. It's like grapes there. Eh? So it's sea grapes, but it basically tastes exactly like seaweed. Yes. Mm. In mouth. Hey, yeah. Tell me the sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, get it. <laughs> mm. Yes. So it, it, the flavor basically bursts in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, mm. yes. Very, very interesting. Mm. So what do you call sea grapes in Japanese? Umi budo. Umi budo. Yeah, umi is a sea. Okay. Budo hai, is hai, budo is a grape. Hai pu tao. Pu tao. Yeah, yeah. Pu tao. Umi budo. Hai pu tao. Hai pu tao. Hai pu tao. This one very interesting looking tofu. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it is um is it tofu actually? Uh tofu made from soybeans, right? Uh-huh. But jimami tofu uh -huh. doesn't use soy. Doesn't use soybean. Soybeans. Ah, so this what is, is it? Uh, jimami means uh peanuts. Oh peanut. ah. so this is a peanut tofu. Why? Peanut tofu. Yeah. So is this like a, a dessert or it's not? Uh side dish. Uh, we have uh, several type of uh, jimami tofu. Uh -huh. The one is side dish, like um, with with the meal. Right. The like other is one. like a uh, uh, dessert. Dessert. Yes. Okay. So this one is with like yeah, yes. main dish. Yes. Okay. Hey. So shall we have another chicken? Curry. Curry. Oh, yeah. Another curry. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Oh, wow. <laughs> So actually, I see this Orion beer mm -hmm. everywhere when I, I was in um, Okinawa. Yes, yes. So is this like a, a local Okinawan beer? Yes, ah. actually made in Okinawa. The top brand in Okinawa. No, the top brand. But very small in compared to other uh, <laughs> beer companies. Let's like not Akiri, mention names. Oh, okay. Asahi, you did. <laughs> Light and crisp. Yes, flavor. Yeah, yes. yeah. Mm. so it's it's very easy to drink. Yes, yeah, especially in the hot weather yeah, like summer. Singapore yeah, or yeah, like yes. in summer in Okinawa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Okinawa's so temperature is uh, same as Singapore. Yes, uh, yes. In summer season, mm. so our beer taste is uh, similar. Right yes. to what we have here, yeah. right? The kind of drink that I remembered having in Okinawa, mm. which is not sake, mm. awamori. Yes, this is awamori. Right. Okay. Yes, awamori is a distilled liquor. Mm. Uh, with uh, the awamori is the oldest uh, distilled liquor mm. with six hundred years history. Oh wow! Yes. Awamori, uh, how should I say, normally used mm. Thai rice. Ah, okay. You so know? it's distilled from Thai rice. Mm. Mm. 
It has a very premium whiskey <laughs> taste. Is it? Mm. Oh. Mm. A, a bit lighter, but it's very smooth oh. and very. Mm. There's this fragrant aftertaste. Oh. Very nice. Yeah. Okay, it's question time. So, if you had paid attention, earlier on I mentioned that we will have five lucky winners who will be walking away with a hundred dollars voucher from Nirai Kanai and also goodie bags from JNTO and Okinawa Singapore office. So all you need to do is to like our video, comment, post it onto your social media platform, tag three friends, as simple as that. Yeah, winners will be selected at random. Question number one. What is the old name of Okinawa? Okay, it is mentioned one, yeah? You can rewind and watch again and again. Yeah. Question number two. How do you say cheers in Okinawa time? Yay, simple, right? Question number three. How do you say sea grapes in Japanese? Okay, so all you need to do now is to answer all three questions correctly and then like our video and then share on your social media platform, tag three friends. All these details will be written in the description box. Good luck! Good luck! The so full oh, from all those food. So, after so much food, what was your favourite, Wayne? Personally, I had to say that surprisingly, it was the Goya Jampul, the ah. Tegot. And it's something different from what you see yes. and I would like to have it again. Mm, yay! So, did you like, uh, let me guess, soba? Yes, of yeah. course. Our Okinawa soul food. Okinawa yes. soul food. The soul food, comfort food. Okay, so for those who are watching, remember, we're still waiting for the five winners who can walk away with the $100 voucher, food voucher from Mirai Kanai, also goodie bags from GNTO and the Okinawa yes. Singapore office. All the details will be down at the description box and then win! Also, don't forget to check out the Korean Hill official Facebook page which is Japan now and also also we can travel now. Don't forget to visit Japan when it's safe to travel again. Yay! Okay, Yay! Yeah. So lastly, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the Dynasty Travel channel. Lastly, we'll see you the next time! Matane. Matane. Matane.